Hi, I'm Peter Newman from ARI and I'm going to tell you about some exciting new developments that have been happening in the world of herbicides. It's called RNAi, also known as BioDirect and it's been developed by Monsanto. So at the recent Global Herbicide Resistance Challenge Conference in Fremantle, Monsanto researcher Doug Sammons gave us a bit of insight into this technology. So I'm going to give you a brief summary of what Doug told us at the conference on the whiteboard. So, in a plant we have DNA and from DNA come small fragments of messenger RNA and they send a message to the protein factory to make enzyme that is essential for plant growth. The protein factory is the ribosome in the plant. Messenger RNA sends a message to the protein factory, the protein factory goes to work and makes the enzyme and the plant lives. Now if we would like to kill this plant, how do we do so? Well one way is to spray glyphosate. So we spray glyphosate onto our plant, it binds to the EPSPS enzyme and renders it unviable and the plant dies. But what if we have Palmer amaranth that is resistant to glyphosate? What happens when we have Palmer amaranth that's resistant to glyphosate? What actually happens is we get extra fragments of messenger RNA formed and they also send a message to the protein factory which goes to an overproduction of the EPSPS enzyme. So, if we spray our glyphosate on this plant, we can take out some of the enzyme, but there's still plenty left in the plant, for, and it survives. And this is where the RNAi technology comes in. So, Monsanto's research shows that if we spray glyphosate plus RNAi, so the I in RNAi stands for interference, and Monsanto have worked out how to put small fragments of RNA into a drum in a stable form. And what they do is they spray it onto the plant like a herbicide, they're taken up by the plant, and they bind to these messenger RNA fragments, taking out some of that. And so the message no longer gets to the protein factory to produce the enzyme. The overproduction of enzyme doesn't happen. And the glyphosate that can bind to the susceptible EPSPS enzyme and the plant dies. Now it's not quite as simple as that and there's a lot more to it and it's very early days in this technology so we'll have to wait a long time for it but it is exciting to know that the chemical companies such as Monsanto are working on new technology such as this. The RNAi technology could possibly be applied to other herbicides and other weeds in the future. So while we have to wait for a long time we need to stick with the herbicides that we've got and we need to look after them and use integrated weed management as we're currently doing.